Being in an active job search can be time consuming. Couple it with financial stress, school, work, or family responsibilities, and it can easily feel stressful. It can help to begin identifying the many pieces of the job search process. This will enable you to understand what goes into a search and therefore to plan realistically from beginning to end. In this video, we'll provide a basic overview of the steps in an effective job search process. Let's start with networking. Networking actually begins before the job search even starts and continues after the search is over. That's because networking is a constant, happening in formal and informal ways all the time. For this reason, we sometimes think of exploration as the first formalized part of the search. During this phase of the job search, the job seeker is looking at professional considerations like education, training, and experience, and personal considerations like geography, interest in a field, and work culture. It's very important for job seekers to be honest with themselves since it will aid them in the process of identifying their goals. Whether that's to begin your own venture or to land a position with a specific job function, setting specific time-bound long-term and short-term goals can help you stay on track. Next, you'll want to develop your story. Remember that it's your responsibility to tailor that story for different audiences by understanding the skill sets that are desirable and being able to discuss examples of those skills. You'll need these storytelling skills for networking, interviewing, and of course, creating your job materials. Developing job materials is often thought to be the first step in the process. But as you can see, in an effective search, a lot can happen before this step. The resume and cover letter should be tailored for each role to which you apply remembering how applicant tracking systems search for keywords and phrases. Once your materials are solid, it's time to actually submit them. It's easy to feel like submitting them sends them into a black hole. So keep an organized document of your applications, follow up, and try to maintain your resiliency during the waiting process. Balance quantity and quality. Interviews will follow the application submission process, where you'll want to be prepared with research about the organization, and you'll need to articulate how you would contribute in the role with the right kinds of skills. Note that an applicant tailors their documents, applies for roles, and interviews up until they have a signed contract. Do not stop applying for jobs and risk losing momentum just because you might be getting interviews. The ideal time for a job applicant to negotiate is after they have an offer and before they have accepted that offer, since that's when they have the most power in the negotiation. Negotiating can make a huge difference in lifetime earnings, so it's important to do your research and be prepared if questions about salary are brought up much earlier by the employer. Once your search is finished and you have signed your contract, you can take time to celebrate your success. But don't forget to withdraw applications elsewhere and thank those who supported you in the process. Keep in mind that this is a general overview of the job search process, and not every part will occur in the same way for everyone. If you notice that you have missed some steps though, like applying for jobs without developing a story, consider going back and doing some of that work to make sure your job search is as effective as possible. For job search strategies and support, speak to a Wasserman Center career coach or view our resources on Handshake.